Let me tell you guys a story about a baby elephant named Ruth. Ruth was born into a circus and from when she was just a small, tiny little elephant, she was staked to the ground by this rope. And as much as she tried, as much as she wanted to go smell this flower, she pulled and she pulled, but she could just never break free from the stake. She could not get it out the ground. She wasn't strong enough. And eventually Ruth gave up. There were days when she kept trying and trying and trying, but it was no use and so she gave up. She stopped even trying to pull the rope and fell into a state of what's known as learned helplessness. Now we turn the page and years and years later, Ruth is big and strong now. She has grown and is now strong enough to break the rope and to achieve the freedom that she wants to actually smell the flower that she's been thinking about for so long. But she's fallen into this state of learned helplessness. She no longer believes that she's able to break the rope and so she just sits tied to this rope, this stake in the ground that she thinks is her limit, but it's only that it's her perceived limit in her mind. Because she doesn't think that she can break out of the rope, she no longer even tries because she was conditioned that way as a child. And this is what happens to so many of us is that we get conditioned to believe in ourselves in a certain way of what we're capable of, what we're not capable of, that we become Ruth tied to a chain of our beliefs, never able to take a step outside of what we believe is possible for us. But when we recognize that we are growing, that we are infinite people capable of doing so many amazingly things, we really have no limits when we center our mind to something. When she realized that, when you realized that, she was able to take the steps necessary and escape from the chain. She pulled it right out of the ground on her first step. It wasn't even hard for her because she had gotten so big and she had learned how to believe in herself. And eventually she was finally able to sp smell the flower and look at that smile. Look how happy Ruth is after she conquered her limiting beliefs and broke free of the chains of her self-limiting beliefs. And you guys can do this too in your life. If there are things you think, I can't make money, it was so, my parents were broke, I come from this poor background, these are all excuses. When really you are limitless, you are capable of doing anything you set your mind to once you break free of these limiting beliefs. Recognize if you think that you can't do something, if you think you're not capable of something, if you say, oh, I've always been this way, or I can't do this, that itself is a limiting belief that you need to catch and become consciously aware of. Because I bet if you reevaluated it, the truth would be you are capable of doing that. You could do something if you set your mind to it. There's nothing that you can't do if it was important enough to you. So the first step is figuring out what's important to you and then breaking those beliefs once you catch it because then you can break free and live a much more fulfilling life. I hope that made sense to you guys. I hope you enjoyed the drawings. If you want more, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.